Hello and happy Monday. I'm Kat Kirker. My pronouns are she, her. I've uh, I've been off for uh, a couple weeks. Um, uh, solo parenting. Um, I just couldn't squeeze in um, uh, streaming at the same time. It was just uh, sort of an impossibility. But I am back. Um, I did have to make an adjustment to my schedule um, while I'm catching up on some freelance work. Uh, I'm a freelance game designer and author, um, and I just uh, I, I I'm gonna have to scale back on my Monday streams. So um, I'll be playing for an hour between 10:30 and 11:30 on Mondays, um, and then come September, um, I'm probably gonna have to make some more adjustments might not be able to stream during the day anymore uh so it might be or it might just be on the weekends during the day and then some evenings uh so i know that that time does not necessarily work for um some of you because of the time zones uh, but i'll try to I'll, I'll try to figure something out that it works out um it's just uh, a lot going on in, in life right now my kid is going to kindergarten but kindergarten is going to be probably um, based out of home with the Washington schools have a, an online program, which is very helpful because he's five, but he knows like grade five math. And it's just been trying, it's just been a struggle trying to figure out what to do with that. Um, anyway, um, long story there, but I am today continuing my playthrough of, um, it is solo, solo games on Mondays and I'm continuing my playthrough of Be Like a Cat. Um, this is by Critical Kit uh, based in the UK. So far it's been really amusing. I've been sort of inspired by Little Kitty Big City. So I'm playing Princess Donut Lefloof the third who's an urban domestic cat and kitten actually. Um, and I think I'm going to play through until she becomes a, a young cat and then probably um, move on to another game. Um, I have not had an opportunity to review um, um, everything since I've been away, away. Um, but I think I'm just gonna do a little recap here because it's been so long. So um, Princess, has uh, just explored a very small amount of um, her area. I was thinking it's, I think it evolved into um, Paris as the location. She lives in an apartment with, what I'm thinking is an um, expat American human aide. Um, <laughs> and she is, um, so, when we started, she sort of was just an indoor cat looking outside. Um, she did see um, another cat in her patio um, garden, uh, who she assumed was her royal gardener because she does think she is actually royalty. And <laughs> um, eventually she falls out of the screen, like this screen window onto the patio and then I'm not even sure if that's a thing in France now that I think about it. Um, and then she, um, you know, later, you know, that's her first introduction to the Royal Gardener. It doesn't go off very well because it's a, a stray cat. Um, and then she um, later hears a cry in the alleyway, goes to investigate, and it is the Royal Gardener uh, who we named Thunder. And that was before we decided that this is going to be in Paris. Um, and Thunder uh, was injured. Princess is very good at healing. So she, um, preening that is, so she healed um, her new friend. And then all of a sudden a goat showed up and um, Princess was injured. She sort of learned a lesson from that um, and proceeded with a more caution, but uh, her first couple days, I think, were not very good. She had another run-in with the goat. Um, she was injured a couple times just um, through the course of in, um, roaming around. 
Um, she did meet another, yeah, another stray cat who was not so friendly and very territorial. Um, but then she also met a um, a crow, um, a toile, who is now her crow advisor. Um, so she has claimed that bit of territory um, and has this crow friend. And I believe where we left off last, she also made a badger friend. Um, oh yes, and this badger, the, uh, the key word that came up for this badger was uh, amorous. So <laughs> instantly thinking of like the whole Pepe Le Pew uh, type of character, but um, not quite not quite as um, problematic. So this um, this badger is very flattering and doting on little kitten um, princess and is now, um, what did we make Francois? Francois is um, her ambassador. So that's where we've left off. Um, I will switch over in a moment here to my journal so that we can take a look at the territory tracker. All right, here we go. So what we have here is a Princess Donut Le Fleuf the Third's um, territory tracker. And let's see if I can get my tool here. All right, come on. All right, so we see uh, this here is her apartment. She went, oops, she went down here next, found Thunder, her royal gardener, and then she sort and on either side there's um there's walls, so this I imagined was an alley. She traveled down to these areas here. Um, where there are houses, and I think there was a small child in one of these spots. And then this uh, this tree over here, I think, is where she was. Uh, was she attacked here, or I can't remember. But you'll see that um, there's like these little medals or ribbons here. Um, those are the areas that she has claimed as her territory. Over here is a. I also have like these little sun smiley faces those that's to indicate that we have allies in these areas um, but this blue flame here is uh, saber um, who's not an ally um, this cat owns uh, this territory so where last we left off was over here with francois um, and princess uh, was injured a few times so she wanted to go back home um, in order to, and this all, this is all essentially, uh, I believe this all happened in one day. It's quite an adventure. Uh, so she's heading back home uh, to her human to get um, some aid, um, probably from a, a vet. I believe that's, that's what happens in this game. Going to add a bookmark to this page as well. <laughs> oh. um, let's add a page and then add the bookmark there. Okay, so I'm going to check out the rules here. <clears throat> What we do for healing. Health and lives, 22. All right. <clears throat> so what it says here is, as your cat explores the world, it will accumulate some bumps and scrapes. Sometimes these will come from scuffles with other creatures, and other times they will be self-inflicted through hubris. In the latter case, if something is... Um, if someone is filming your futile attempt at something, you may end up on social media. Your cat's physical well-being is governed by health and lives. So yes, Princess did wind up um, 
on social media during her first outing um, because she attempted to take on the goat um, instead of running away. All right, so health says this is the attri uh, the attribute that is most likely to change. You can lose health through combat, falling from a height, and many other daily challenges you face. You can also gain health through rest and a trip to the vet. However, whenever your health drops to zero, you lose one of your nine lives. Lives. Your cat starts the game with nine lives. Unlike your health, this attribute only ever heads in one direction, down. When you've run out of lives, your cat is no more and the game ends. You lose lives either through sustaining injuries in combat as a result of a failed skill check or when a prompt explicitly says so. Um, sustaining injuries. Most injuries occur through combat or failed jumps. Occasionally, a prompt will dictate that you receive injuries if you can't fulfill a specific condition, such as finding food or shelter. Ah, yes, she was hungry the last time, and she would have uh, not had a very good uh, good time of it um, if she hadn't have found a snack. Uh, whenever you sustain in injuries, subtract the number of injury points defined by the action from your health. Um, and then going to zero um, uh, means, means she would lose a life. And then your health is set back to its maximum. You only ever lose one life from a single incident that injures you, even if the injury points are more than the health you have left. Okay. Um, one thing that I have not been able to find in the book, and I haven't really read like cover to cover, um, I'm just I just kind of like flip through as I need a rule, um, is what a kitten's starting health points are. Um, so if anyone knows that, please let me know. Um, I, I guessed based on the other the other health points. Healing injuries. You can heal your injuries in a few ways. Prompts. In each scenario, the prompt contain, prompt tables contain some options for healing. However, you are at the mercy of the dice for these. Uh, the other is a visit to the vet. Uh, in the urban cat scenario, which is what we're playing right now, when you meet a human during your explorations, you can make a signal check to show them you're hurt. If you are successful, they will take you to the closest vet. You must then move directly to a location you have already assigned as being a vet or to an empty location square at least five squares away from your the one you are currently in. I remember to mark that as a vet's. Um, if it's already marked on the territory tracker, I can make my way over there. Once at the vet, you heal all current injuries and scenarios in other than urban cat have specific healing options. Oh, I did not realize this. Hunting for food also heals one injury. It's very possible that I missed that in the last session, but I... Um, I don't remember, so I'm just gonna go get healed by my by my human aid. All right. So that means we are going to go um, over here and figure out where five steps are would be can't go up, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Put it in there. So let me find a sticker that looks like a, a vet. <laughs> These are my frequently used, maybe not that. I wonder if there's like a medicine one. That looks like a pill. Oh, here. This is a good one. I like this. Cute. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, gosh. Okay. 
Why can't I grab this? There we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so um, back here, we'll write a journal entry for going to the vet. I remember her sweet little voice here. Um, <clears throat> I think I need something for my throat. It's just so froggy right now. Just one moment. Okay. After quite a tiring day exploring my realm and meeting my subjects. I have returned home returned to my royal apartment so now I have to make um a signal rule. All right. So we're going to go back here, look at princesses. abilities. She only has one one for that. Not great. <clears throat> However, she does have this bonus here. Make all social checks on humans with courage. When a situation dictates that you can roll with courage, you may re-roll any dice from your first roll that did not yield a result of one. You can only do this once per skill check, okay. Two is a success. Okay, I'm gonna take it. A two plus, no, two. All right, so she successfully um, gets the attention of her royal aide. Um, upon my return, I mewed for my human aid. to lend me assistance. She 
energy immediately. Um, saw the injuries I had sustained. And <clears throat> scoop me up. into the royal. Hi, Andy. Um, you actually haven't missed that much. I did a big recap, both, both for viewer and my own, <laughs> my own uh, assistance here, uh, just to refresh my memory. So right now, Princess has just, um, gotten back to the apartment and um, her human, uh, she signaled for her human to um, to take care of her because she's uh, she's got these injuries and needs to go to the vet. So we establish where the vet's office is. Um, and I'm just trying to think of the word for, um, like, that sort of like care, like, I'm trying to phrase her, her, her cat carrier as something that's, um, it's like a, um, like a carriage or something like that instead. <laughs> um, I should also note, I don't know if you saw on, on Discord or social media, but, um, carriage, yeah. Um, uh, my Monday streams are going to be shortened for the next little while from 10 30 to 11 um just because there's so much going on and then in september i have to make some changes um because i grayson's kindergarten is going to be virtual um which means i'm going to be his coach um so it just yeah i'm just going to try to figure out um whether i'm streaming on weekends or evenings or you know whatever but for the next little while it is a lot of work <laughs> It is a lot of work. Thank you. Um, however, we're gonna make it work. Um, yeah. So things are things are changing, but um, I'm still gonna be streaming and and doing other things. Um, all right. Scoop me up into the royal carriage. Um, we quickly made our way to the physician who tended to my wounds despite some minor protests. On my part, I feel like this is um unreliable narrator here because I feel like she probably um it was probably not actually minor protests. <laughs> All right. So she says, after quite a tiring day exploring my realm and meeting my subjects, I have returned to my royal apartment. Upon my return, I mewed for my human aid to lend me assistance. She immediately saw the injuries I had sustained and scooped me up into the royal carriage. 
We quickly made our way to the physician who tended to my wounds, despite some minor protests on my part. All right, so as you can see, we have added the vet here. <laughs> yes. Now, we had, I, I'm assuming we head back to, um, to the apartment and then we just start a new, um, I do need to heal Kitty here. So I think what we're going to do is maybe go, hmm, go this way. Going to go to my turn cheat sheet. Move to a new location. Yes. Is this location defined? No. So we're going to roll a new location. Two D six. Five and a six equals eleven. One D six street market. Nice. Um, no, I did not, Andy. I and the thing is like I haven't really read this like cover to cover, but I'm basically just reading reading the parts as I need them. I've been able to find health points for all the other levels of cat except for kitten and i'm just not sure um yeah i'm just not sure what what the starting points are and how i could have missed that <laughs> it just seems like it should have been like put right at the start here with the kitty creation um but yeah and maybe I'm just like I, I'm just constantly reading over it because I'm I'm just doing like cursory cursory read through. But I gave her four because it was I think it was under under the next level, but or on par with the next level. Or maybe I gave her senior, the equivalent to senior because that's the lowest amount. Um. All right, so we are in street market, which is awesome. Make cute or signal checks here to get fed by a human and heal two injuries. Oh, I could have just done that. <laughs> Alternatively, make a hunt check to find scraps and heal one injury. Okay, let's find a, a nice little sticker for this market. Should I put the fork and spoon here? I wonder if there are restaurants. Yeah, I won't do that because there are restaurants as part of this. Maybe they could find like a basket of fruits and vegetables. I might, I might have had one that I just looked, overlooked. Um, maybe here. <laughs> um, 
this one. How do I resize this though? It's just perfect. I love it. <clears throat> okay. Um, next thing we need to do is, I believe it's rule for encounters. Roll an encounter, yeah. Okay. So in the urban cat scenario, we do the encounter verbs first. <laughs> yeah, it's a great sticker. <laughs> Thirty-five. Well connected, makes sense. D sixty-six. Twenty-five. A well connected domestic cat. I love it. All right, so so in the rules here, there are rules um, for social encounters that basically say that, you know, not all encounters have to be violent. And in the urban cat scenario in particular, where I rolled the encounter verb, um, this is um, something we consider when judging how a creature will meet, uh, you meet will respond to you. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like Princess is going to um, try to exude her princessness. Um, in order to maybe get further with um, the maitre d of the uh, of the area, <laughs> I I want the name of this cat to be to actually be maitre d, but d is like d e or something. All right, so what do we need to do? <clears throat> um, they know everyone in in the near in the area and probably knows um which vendor um gives the best treats um, so I wonder what what to roll here. Maybe she's looking for for seating at a at a restaurant or something. Um, oh no, this isn't a, mes a restaurant section though. This is a market. So maybe um, oh, I wish it was a restaurant though, because Major D would be um, the best name. I'm going to put a pin in that name. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I don't know what to, um, I feel like, 
I feel like this cat is maybe just a maybe the maybe they're known or she's known as like the market cat and because she's been there for so long um she just knows all the vendors and we'll see um maybe princess will ask her for a recommendation for a market um market stall um in which case what are we going to roll for that i think she'll she'll lay on the be playful. Um, so let's roll for being playful. She gets four dice to roll here, and we'll see how successful she is. Two, a three, a two, and a three, which is, let's see, that's four successes. Um, which is a resounding success. You achieve your goal and receive a confidence boost. Makes your make your next skill check with courage. Okay, so she's gonna get a very good snack. I think out of this is basically what's happening. Um, gonna go over here and um, some. Um, let's see. The very next day, the very next morning, I set out to explore further. This time, setting out westward. There, I discovered the most wonderful site of market stalls filled with the delightful scent of fish oopsie fish and cheese upon entering the market I was greeted by a um, great big orange tabby by the name of 
Marche. Um, she let it be known. That she knew of all the best places I don't know if it's all the best places. It's she's well connected. She knew of she knew everyone at the market. Um, after um, playfully introducing, oops, introducing myself, she offered to be my royal food guide. And now I'm going to roll for more play. Uh, wait, was it? I think it was cute that was in the table here. Let's just double check that. Cute or signal? Signal, we only have one, one die, so I'm going to use cute, which was three. Oh, that's cute. Two, two, two. Um, okay, so those are, that's uh, three successes. Oh, wait. Hold on. Did I do that wrong? Um. All right, I'm going to reread these rules again because I think I, I messed up the rules. Um, each individual die result that was OK. To make a skill check, you roll six sided dice. The formula for making checks is simple. Roll a number of D6 equal to the score of the skill you are testing. OK, so I have three. If you want to ascertain whether you can make a challenging jump and your jump score is three, you roll three d6. Okay, so I rolled three for my cute. Each individual die result of that roll yields that yields four or five counts as one success. Okay, but what is three then? Each six counts as two successes. Conversely, every one you roll counts as minus one success. The sum of these successes will define the con consequences of your actions. Okay, so I rolled three twos. No, it's, this is correct. Um, but I have three successes, so okay. I was doing it right. So all of these dice, um, one to two is a success, um, but I have three successes and three plus is a resounding success. So that means I get um, to make my next skill check with courage 
and I'm going to use cute. Um, so I was using cute to lay on the charm here, and I, I didn't need to to do anything else because it was a re resounding success. So I achieve my goal and receive a confidence boost. Um, oh, that was with um, Marche was the confidence boost. I don't need, well, I can, I can make another confidence uh, check here. So when I try to take the territory, um, I can make that check with confidence. Okay, sorry, it's been a while. All right, so I'm going to say um, she offered to be my royal food guide. Um, together, we um, traveled to the cheese monger. Um, and um, um, who was rather taken by my appearance. as a friend of Marche. We were fed quite nicely, uh, quite well. Um, Now I'm going to attempt to mark this territory. Oops. I need to look. Mark I only have one. This is this has been such a challenge. Alright, so Oh, I got a five, so um So I believe that counts as, no, that's just uh, one success. Um, achieve your goal. All right. Um, so I'm going to say, before parting ways, Um, I am, what's our way of being diplomatic about this? I uh, granted Marche's Marche's market a, um, temporary temporary acceptance into my realm by marking it. Um, however, at the same time, I think I'm going to wrap up here. So I, I make one more um, check to see if I can actually claim this territory. Got another five. Okay. So I'm not going to say temporary.
work it acceptance into acceptance uh, permanent acceptance permanent oh gosh permanent acceptance into my realm by marking it okay and then I'm going to go back here and grab this little icon, copy, paste, oh, nope, paste again, come on, all right. All right, so just do a final read here. Um, the very next morning, I set out to explore further, this time setting out westward. There I discovered the most wonderful sight of market, of market stalls filled with delight, the delightful scent of fish and cheese. Upon entering the market, I was greeted by a great big orange tabby by the name of Marche. She let it be known that she knew everyone at the market. After playfully introducing myself, she offered to be my royal food guide. Together, we traveled to the cheesemonger, who was rather taken by my appearance as a friend of Marche. We were fed quite well. Before parting ways, I granted Marche's market permanent acceptance into my realm by marking it. And that is, I think that's where we're going to have to leave off because, um, I do not have, I don't think I'll, I'm going to be able to squeeze anything in the next three minutes. Um, on Wednesday, I should be doing when, Whimsy Wednesday um, from 11 till noon Pacific. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. And then the following week, I'm hoping to resume uh, Game Design Lab, getting back to whatever world it was that we were we were working on or maybe something else. I guess it depends on what chat wants to do. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be back at this, even though my schedule's going to be changing in September. Um, but I'll probably talk about it in Discord so that um, I can find some good times that work for work for everyone as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Um, I will see you on um, uh, online on Discord and have a good rest of your week. Take care.